If you're thinking about quitting art, you're not alone. I made this video to show that there's plenty of people that feel this way. All you have to do is go on reddit.com slash r slash artist lounge and see daily posts about it. That's actually what inspired this video. One user posted on here and said more or less that they are having such a hard time learning to enjoy the process, and they concluded that they won't ever be able to get good because they're having such a hard time enjoying the learning, and it's just really, really discouraging. This is actually a common sentiment shared among newer artists, and it's very easy to get discouraged when you put a lot of time in and still get things wrong. Actually, I've been there too. Although I'm a lifelong artist, I have had similar moments where I just looked at my own work and I said, wow, wow, I'm actually fooling myself. I'm not good at art, and I never was. I'm not going to focus on the solution right away, of course, because if you're feeling this way, I know the solutions and advice aren't necessarily going to help you right now. Rather, I think it's important, and you most likely just want to be heard. In my opinion, it's important to empathize with that instead of immediately giving somebody advice and show that you're not alone and show that your voice is indeed heard. So I get it. I really do. Maybe you want to create something beautiful and inspiring. Maybe you want to make art that visualizes the stories and the characters and the ideas that are all swirling around in your head. Maybe when you envision art in your imagination, it looks spectacular. But when you draw it on paper, of course, it doesn't really look so good. You try over and over again to draw what you want, and then you just quit, discouraged. It felt like, to you, it was a waste of time. And it becomes painful to make art, because your lines and your marks and your brushwork or your colors, they just aren't working. Nothing is working. Art is no longer a relaxing hobby that you fell in love with, but now it's something that you're afraid of. It's something that's terrifying. Truly, a blank canvas has never been more scary. Art is hard, and I think the hardest part of it is appreciating the journey. Because realistically, how can you appreciate or enjoy being bad at something? Even worse, how can you enjoy practicing like you've been told to and still be bad at it and be expected to enjoy it? Even worse, it can be equally discouraging to see other people that started making art around the time that you did and their skill level just zooms past yours. Or even worse, seeing an artist that is much younger than you post work that you couldn't even possibly dream of making. Truly that feeling makes your heart sink. Why even try at that point? I've had these feelings too. I really have been there and I understand what it's like. In fact, I almost quit art because of these feelings when I did have them. And maybe you feel like this too. And if you're at this point, you've got a decision to make. If quitting art is something that you want to do, if you're certain about it and you know that it's going to bring you peace, that's totally fine. Sometimes letting go is the right answer if something is causing you more harm than good. However, I want you to know that in spite of all this, it is worth it to keep going. I think the vast majority of you watching this are most likely on the verge of quitting. But you also can't imagine a life where you aren't making art, which presents a dilemma. I'm saying this because I kept going, and it was worth it. Because I certainly couldn't live a life just looking at art and appreciating it. I also had this need, this desire to create, and maybe you do too. So personally, I stuck with it, and I'm so glad that I did. If you decide to stick with it, I'm going to offer some real concrete advice now. First, I want to present an analogy to you. I don't know if you've ever seen the meme where the guy is digging just endlessly in hopes of finding diamonds, and then he quits at the very last second, right before hitting an entire mine of diamonds. And, you know, he was just like inches away from it, right? So hear me out on this. With art, it's kind of like that. Sooner or later, you're going to hit a wall. And I call this the wall of effort. You'll know when you hit it, because it's at this point you question if it's worth it to keep going or to call it quits. As I said earlier, you've got a decision to make. And let me tell you, on the other side of that wall of effort is a gold mine. If you really push yourself, you can get past that wall. And although it is intimidating, it's completely worth it. I can give a concrete example as my art used to look like this, and 
now my work looks so much better because I pushed past that wall. Another thing to consider is art satisfaction comes and goes in cycles. And honestly, understanding this graph right here is what helped me get past hating my own art permanently. One line on the graph represents your ability to evaluate and criticize art. That's called your taste. The other line, your ability to make art, is your skill. When your skill is above your taste, you get huge returns and you're motivated to keep going. This is called an art high. However, when those two intersect and your taste starts to rise above your skill, you look at your own art and you don't think it's very good anymore because you know you can do better. This is called an art low. Your taste says so because you've seen better. An important part of this art low is that your ability to see will actually push you to be better. For me, the realization that leveling up your ability to see above your skill level is what creates these bad feelings in the first place, well, this is what got me to stop hating my own art and start loving the process. When I realized my art wasn't that good, I learned that although I had been making art my entire life, I never actually studied the basics of it, which are called the fundamentals. Then I studied the fundamentals, I pushed past that wall, and my art skyrocketed. Additionally, because now I know how the art cycle works, I haven't gotten discouraged or sad about it since, because I understand that art lows are merely temporary. It's just a period of growth. This may work for you, or it may not. It all depends on you. If you decide to stick with art and push through the wall, that's great. If you decide that art simply isn't for you, that's totally okay too. This is your life after all and it's up to you to decide what is best for yourself. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope this video has been helpful. I made this video because when I was about to quit art, I wish I would have had somebody to show me that it's worth it to keep going. I was lucky to have friends that pushed me in that direction, but I also recognize that many people are not so lucky. And so I made this video so I can be that friend and show you that art absolutely is worth it. If you love art, and if you love creating, don't give up. Keep going. I promise you guys, it is worth it.